guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. And today is technically the December 10th, but I didn't get to film yesterday because I was a little all over the place with work. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like it's been hectic trying to film for Vlogmas, work, and house hunt. So basically I'm gonna do the rundown of yesterday. I went to work, I was there for a very long time, had very intense leg workout. Then I was able to come home, relax for a little bit, and by relax, I literally was looking at houses online that my boyfriend was sending me, which is Jonathan. You guys know Jonathan, we all love him. And then I was just relaxing because then I had to go back to work and then I had to go to his work to then go to his parents' house because we do weekly dinners at his parents' house. And then we looked at two houses last night and we didn't get home till like 10 o'clock at night. I was gonna bring my camera along, but I was like, you know what, this is all just so new to us and like we're all, tr we're trying to soak it up as it's something that's very exciting and a lot of fun. So I did not get to film at all yesterday, but I'm gonna make up for it by one. We have two days of advent calendars and we got two more days until it's time for the benefit one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But we're basically gonna declutter like all of my makeup today. Like I literally have made it and we're planned, I planned it in my head. I'm like, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna declutter it because it's time to get rid of some things. It's time to toss some things in the trash. It's time to give them away to friends and family who would want them. Or my mom, so you know, which is friend, which is family. So today is gonna be day nine and 10 of this. So I showed you guys that day nine was over here. So let's see what it was. It is a, another nail polish. Let me try to get it out. Oh God. When I tell you that my finger literally almost got completely stuck, it did. So this is the nail polish. It is like a clear, um, it's clear. It's like a nude, it's got like sparkles in it. This is in shade Enchanted World. Don't mind my doggo. And then this is day 10, is this big one. So let's open this up and let's see what we got. Another face mask, what is this? It's not a face mask. Instant nail polish remover wipe. Seriously? What am I gonna use this for? I don't got nail polish on it. If I do, I have gel on, so this doesn't work. Sephora's literally doing, so far, Sephora stuff's literally almost the same exact as it was two years ago. The one thing that's gonna, that's gonna make me the happiest is going to be, um, the benefit one. So let's try to shove this. In. You know what? It's just gonna chill in there how it is. Um slowly getting a little disappointed with the Spar Evan calendar because it's basically the same things that I got two years ago when I did it. So that really sucks. Really does. So I'm gonna put this box back together and then we're gonna go to my room and we're gonna declutter some more makeup things. I literally just got blinded by the sun because the sun is setting over there in my room and it's like hitting the window in just the right area. So we are going to go through another drawer. So we went through the concealer drawer, which was this one right here. I think we're gonna go underneath this one and we're gonna go into our bronzers at first. So Let's get to going. So bronzer we are keeping is this new one. This is the Airbrush Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. I use this in my past video, so I want you guys to go and check that out. I really hope that this is a good lighting situation because I can't really tell if it is or isn't because of how the sun is. So anyway, we're going to keep the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer, we're keeping that. We're also gonna be keeping both of my Fenty ones. This is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. Really do like this. I was hoping that a cream bronzer would be lighter by them, but it there it was too light. Like it literally would probably, it wouldn't look, like it wouldn't actually look good. It would look like muddy or like too like, 
like very 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 light like from in me it wouldn't work and then the Fenty Beauty um, regular bronzer this is an Inda Sun really do love this this is my absolute favorite right now for me being like pretty pale which is awesome I'm trying to figure out where to put you guys I do all right so we already have those ones and we changed our lighting typical me all right then the next thing we're gonna have is my Kathleen lights and ColourPop bronzer this is what it looks like. We are definitely keeping this one because I love this as well. I like to switch it off in the summertime. Um, we are also going to be keeping the Hula Light by Benefit. I've caught myself um, reaching for it a little bit. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. So I caught myself reaching for it. So we're obviously going to want to keep that as a blush. And one thing we are actually going to get rid of is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. This is what it looks like. It was really good. I liked it at first, but then it dried down like a powder. And that's the one thing that I didn't like is I did not like how it dried down as a powder. I like my Fenty Beauty Cream one and it does not um, dry down like that at all. This came off as like a powder. This one comes off like a cream bronzer. So this is going to be the first one that goes in the put away bin. And I have zero minutes on this memory card. All right, I had to delete things off this memory card and it ended up working and it's okay. So that thing's saved. So we're getting rid of our Huli, our Huli, our Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Another thing we are getting rid of is the Milk Makeup. This is their, uh, what is this? Matte Bronzer. This is what we're getting rid of. This is what it looks like. Let me on. This is the um, little plastic protector on it, but I don't really like this anymore. Don't really need it if I don't like it. The next thing, this is a highlighter. I don't know why this is in this drawer. This is a highlighter. We're not going over that one. The next thing is this Tarte one. This is the Tarte Hotel Hair Heiress. Um, this is what it looks like. Never honestly really got into it or used it, so we are going to get rid of this one. This is in the get rid of pile. And then there's the Hula Benefit, the good old Hula Benefit. I am honestly... That's what it looks like. I am honestly not keeping this one either because I don't use regular Hula. I'm not a fan of regular Hula. I like the Hula Light, but not that one. And then we have the NARS um, Laguna Bronzer. We're not going to keep this either because never really used NARS for bronzers. So... Next we have, this is from Ipsy, this was the, this was part of the Gigi Gorgeous collection, this was the Six Sculpt Bronzer in Duo. I used to use this, and this is what it looks like, but I honestly have not grabbed for it anymore ever since I have my bronzer products that I do really like, so this we're not going to keep as well, and I think I'm going to keep my Smashbox, the Cali Contour, for right now, because I do really enjoy using it and I did and I feel like I want to come back and grab it again this is what it looks like so I'm gonna keep it in here for a little bit longer see if I actually touch it and if not then I won't keep it we ended up having 12 products actually and we kept we kept six so we got rid of half of our bronzer collection which is completely fine by me that is good for me so this is what our bronzer collection now looks like you saw what it looked like before Next, we're going to do blush palettes, so let me grab all my blush palettes real quick. So we're going to do brush palettes, and then I'm just going to grab the brush blushes while we are here, and I don't like this lighting again. Alright, so the first um, blush uh, palette that I'm not going to actually end up keeping is this one. This was like Tarte's, one of their holiday ones. This was the Blush Bazaar Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. I honestly just don't use it anymore. It has a protector in between it. I stopped using it and didn't really care for my Tarte blushes anymore once I kind of got into my ColourPop ones. So I'm not going to be keeping this one. The next one is um, the Blush Book Belongs to Tartlet. And this was like their back to school one. I'm not going to keep this one either because I do not grab for it anymore. I'd rather have someone else who grabs for it. And I'm honestly not the biggest fan of Tarte blushes anymore. So why would I keep something if I'm not the biggest fan of it anymore? So we have two palettes that we are not keeping anymore. The next one is this one from Tarte. This is the Life of the Party Clay Blush Palette and Clutch. 
This is what this one looks like. I'm also not going to be keeping this because I do not grab it anymore and I don't want to keep something if I don't grab it anymore. That's a waste of it just sitting here. So don't really grab for this anymore. I loved using it. You guys know I use this all the time on my channel, but just we're not doing it for me anymore. And then this is the TARDIS Pro Glow and Blush. I am going to keep this one because of the bronzer shades. I do like these blushes and the highlighter because I can use them more as like highlighters, honestly. So I'm going to be keeping this one. And then I'm going to be keeping my ColourPop. This is the Catch a Vibe blush. This is what this one looks like. We're definitely keeping this one. I am a, in love with it and can't, I like, that's my blush I use all the time. And then we have three of these. These are the pressed powder blushes. This is from like one of the newest collections that ColourPop came out with. So we have, I literally cannot pronounce the names, but this is what this one looks like. It is gorgeous. It's, this is the name. And then <laughs> this is what this one looks like. It's coming up way darker. It's like a peachy one. And this is the name. And then this is the last blush. It is a beautiful pink. And this one is called Vogue. The other two I cannot pronounce, and we're not going to pronounce them and butcher them. So those are those ones. We're keeping those. We are going to get rid of the Benefit Dandelion um, blush. I liked it, but I didn't like it so much that I want to keep it. But this is what it looks like up close and personal. So we're not going to keep that one we then have these three these are my color pop land blushes my super shock cheek ones and you guys know that i absolutely love these and these are the three this is the gummy more jolly and then gun gum drop pass and we are keeping all three of these love that collection absolutely obsessed with those absolutely obsessed and then we're going to be keeping our fenty beauty cream one, I have this in Petal Poppin. This is what it looks like. It probably looks utterly disgusting on the inside, but we're keeping it and I absolutely love it. Another one we're getting rid of is the Dream Rush by Benefit. This is what the bronze, the bronze, the blush looked like. It honestly was just way too, um, what's like the word I'm looking for? Way too sparkly and really sheer, so I wasn't the biggest fan of that, honestly. And then we are keeping both of my rare beauty ones. I have the shade Happy which is, this is the one I used all summer. Absolutely loved and was obsessed with. And then this one is Bliss. I have yet to use this one, but I will be now that it is the winter time. And I absolutely love this one as well. So we're keeping those. And then lastly, for a blush stick kind of thing, we're keeping the blush stick by ColourPop. I have mine in the shade Cool It, which was one of my absolute all-time favorites. You guys know I loved it. I honestly stopped using this one because I got this one. So, that's telling you how good Selena Gomez is because you guys know how hard it is for me to change up my um, routine. And yes, I got canes today. We're doing great over here. The next thing I'm going to be keeping is my Morphe 2. This is the Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse in the shade Wish. I have used this, as you can tell. I hope you can, you can tell. In here, I've used this, and I really do like this, so if you guys want, like, a tint on your cheeks, give this a shot. Like, this is absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with it. The one thing we are getting rid of is the Florence by Mills, uh, what is this even called? The Cheek Me Later Cream in She Shy. This is what it looks like. It is way too pale for me. I thought I liked it at first, but I honestly not the biggest fan of it, so that is in the get rid of pile and I just realized that our blush pile is not dwindling like I thought it would. So this is the Tarte Bikini Bottoms blush. This is what it looks like. We are not keeping this one because like I said, I don't really use Tarte blushes anymore. I really don't use Tarte products at all. And then we have the Morphe, this is not Morphe, this is the Ofra and Madison Miller blush and highlighter. I'm not going to be keeping this as well because I just no longer go for it and use it and like I said no point in me using it so getting rid of this one and then the next one this is the captivating Amazonian clay blush by Tarte this one we are not keeping either because I don't grab for it anymore I literally only use my ColourPop ones 
And then we have this one. It's called Paracel by Tarte. Wait, I've never got to use this because it's way too dark for me. So we're going to put that in the giveaway pile, like the giveaway to family and friends. And then we have this other one in the shade Journey. I've never used because it's a little bit too dark for me. I don't get that tan in the summer anymore because one, last summer internshipping and then ended up working. So I didn't have time and it's just, I never honestly got that tan to begin with to use that blush. So there was no point. There's this one in Splendor. You see how dark that is. Not going to be able to use anytime soon or even in the summer. And then the next one is Majesty. This is what this one looks like. We're going to be getting rid of that one as well because I don't use it. Honestly, all the rest of my Tarte ones we are going to be getting rid of minus that blush kit because I don't use Tarte products anymore. There's this one in Flare. Don't use that anymore. There's this one in Fairy Flush. Don't really use that one anymore. And look at how pale it is. It probably would honestly be a good one right now, but I just do not grab for it. It doesn't gravitate to me. And I like a little bit more of a pink blush now, like a, a light pink, but still pinky. And then the last one is Do Not Disturb from Tarte. And that's literally all of my Tarte things. So let me count how many we had all together and how many we're keeping and getting rid of. We had 29 all together. And we are keeping 13. That is absolutely nuts. I'm going to put all these back in here. I'm going to try to figure out how to put them in here the way I would like, like to see them in here. I guess it's kind of going to be like this little action because it's kind of cool and different. So this is what it's going to look like. Oh, they're all falling. So that is the blushes. And then, of course, this little guy is going in there. So, we've got rid of bronzers and blushes. Now we got to figure out what other drawer to go through. So, let me move all these. Diamond, it is not time to eat, you goofball. This dog tries to up the time when she wants to eat every day. And she gets loads of snacks and stuff, so I know she's not hungry. She likes to play like she's starving because we feed them insane amount of treats. Ooh, they might have not done their advent calendar yet, but I gotta wait for my mom to get home and she just said she's on her way home. So let's do another drawer while we're sitting here. Let's go up here and let's do the uh, setting powder, setting powders, the setting sprays and the... Um, Primers, that's what they are. So first off the bat, you know we're keeping these two. We're keeping the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip because this is my go-to all-time favorite. I tell you guys to try this all the time. And then we're also keeping the Forsali Liquid Glass Radiance Drops. I literally, this is like my third bottle of this. I had the big bottle normally. Then I had that tiny little one. And then I started using another tiny little one. I was like, hey mom, you need to try this. Take this because I bought a big one. So we are keeping these. And we are also keeping the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer because I use this from time to time. This is what it looks like. It looks very weird, not gonna lie. But I do use this from time to time when I'm using my tinted moisturizer, so we're, use, we're keeping that. We are getting rid of the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer Base Illuminator because I didn't like how shiny it made my skin look. was not the biggest fan of it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't moisturizing, and I did not really care for how it made my skin feel. This is what that one looks like, so we are not keeping this. And then it is time to give up on the Tatcha Silk Canvas trend because I broke out from this, and I don't know why I decided to keep it. I even got a new one and was trying it out, and I still broke out from it. Don't know why I kept it, and then I had a trial size one before... And so we're just going to give these to people who are going to be able to use them. So we had six primers and we're keeping three. That's not too bad because two of them I use on a daily basis because I like double prime kind of. So these are the three that we are getting rid of. And then in here I have dirty beauty blenders that need to get put in my little bag and honestly probably need to go get cleaned after I film this video. Let's look at all these. And I think... There's some more. Let me grab all of them and I'll show you what they all look like. Okay, it's not bad, but now we actually are going to go through the beauty blender portion. 
because there are some beauty blenders that I will not be keeping because I just don't like. One of them is going to be getting washed. But one of them mainly um, is like this one. This literally hurts my face so freaking bad when I use it. Is this a Sephora one? We're just not going to keep that one. That's the only one really. I mean, I have my overload of abundance, but you guys see how many I have in a bag. So you can see why I have so many. And I clean them, so they're fine. You can never have too many um, beauty blenders, in my opinion. So let me grab my setting sprays. Oh, and in here, there is another sponge I'm going to be getting rid of. And this is this little one. It's from Tarte. Not the biggest fan. All right, so the first thing is setting sprays we were keeping are my Morphe ones. This is a brand new one that hasn't been used yet because I'm almost out of this one. This is the Continuous Setting Mist. Absolutely love this. Get your hands on it. Try it. Not going to regret it. The one we are getting rid of is the Florence by Mills Zero Chill Face Mist. Absolutely cannot stand this. It's rose. I break out from rose. You guys know that. Another one we are getting rid of is the Bare Mil Minerals Dew Mist Setting Spray. It's just a little tester. This is what it looks like. And we're just getting rid of this one because I don't use it. Another one we are keeping is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. You guys know I absolutely love this. It's my tried and true. I use this first. I use three different setting sprays when I set my makeup. It's very dramatic. This is the first one I use, the ColourPop one. Then I go into the Morphe one. And then I go into my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to lock it all in at the very end. So I absolutely love that one and we're keeping this one. And then we are also keeping the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. I really do enjoy this. It does have like an oil-based texture, so like you need to shake it before you use it. You should shake all of them. But I really like this one for the summer, so this is going to be like my summertime one, so absolutely love those. So we originally had six, and we got rid of two. So now we're down to four. That's not bad. And one is my backup for when this one goes out. This one, like you can feel it in the can. It's almost going to be out, but got the backup for just in case. Let's go through some brow products, shall we? This is what the brow product bin looks like. So, let's go through some things. I have some brushes in here that we are obviously keeping. The first thing we are getting rid of is the Florence by Mills Tint and Tame Brow Gel. This is what it looks like. It is in the shade Dark Brown. So this is what it looks like. It is dark brown, but it honestly was way too dark for me. So it wasn't really dark. It showed up more red. That's the one thing. Okay. Can we please make for brunettes a brown tinted brow gel or any brow product that does not pool red? I understand I'm a brunette and that I do pool red undertones. I have red undertones. I know that red brunettes normally do but my eyebrows don't and I don't match my eyebrows to the red tint that's sometimes in my hair because sometimes you see it sometimes you don't so can we stop using those please and thank you thank you for coming to my TED talk one thing we are keeping is my bra brass ColourPop uh, brow boss liner. I have one that I'm using right now. This is in the shade dark brown. This does not pull up red. Thank you, ColourPop. And then I have its backup because I know it's going to go eventually. We're also getting rid of the Bravo Conditioning Primer by Benefit. Just no longer use this anymore, so we're not going to keep it. We're also getting rid of the Brow Contour Pro by Benefit. This was like amazing when it first came out. This is what it looks like, but we no longer use it, so we're not going to keep it. And I actually am getting rid of two Anastasia products. Never thought I would say this. This is the Brow Wiz in medium brown. No longer use this because I use ColourPop. This is the Brow Wiz if you've never seen it. And then I'm also getting rid of the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I had them both in medium brown. And this is what that one looks like. I just don't use it because I really love ColourPops as of right now. And then I am getting rid of one of these because I have two. So I'm going to get rid of the bigger one 
because I know this one's like there's more out of it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, dip brow gel in the shade medium brown. I don't really use it anymore, but I am gonna keep the medium the little itty-bitty guy just in case I decide I want to pick it up again So we are gonna keep him I'm also gonna keep my milk makeup kush grow house Lash and brow serum. I need to start using this again But I always used it and it kind of stopped once I started working and I just literally fell off the face of the earth of my routine that I would do and I'm gonna keep my benefit give me brow in the shade four, I think it is. This is like the perfect shade for me, but this is the one it looks like. It's so freaking cute. And I didn't realize how destroyed it was. But we're gonna be keeping this because I absolutely loved it. And then we're also keeping my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. Absolutely love it and I'm, a, I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm going to keep my Brow Harmony in Cool Brown by Rare Beauty for a little bit longer to see if I can get this to work because I made it a little bit too dark. When I tried it out on my video that I did for them, I'm going to try it out again to see if I end up liking it. But I did the other day use the um, setting side, which is like a tinted brow, and I actually really liked it. So, we're keeping that. These are the products that we are getting rid of for our brows. It's a decent amount. It's six of them. And I'll just show you what we are keeping in here and I keep two brushes in here my brow brushes I keep them in here as well and that is what it looks like now now we're gonna go through mascaras because we might as well since we are in this drawer mascaras we are not really getting rid of a lot of them I would say actually we might okay so we are getting rid of the Fenty Beauty travel size only because I have the big boy of it. And we're keeping the big boy of the Fenty Beauty one. So this one's being kept. We're getting rid of the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I honestly just never used... I used it once and I didn't really like it. This is the type of wand. You guys know I used to love that type of wand. But not really anymore. So not keeping that one. We are keeping the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. Finally got the full size of it. You guys know I love using this. This is the wand. I'm starting to like those types of spiky wands. I don't know why, so we're keeping that. We're also keeping their Real by Benefit as well. This is my favorite go-to everyday mascara lately for just going to work. This is the type of wand it is. It has like a very different like po pokey, pokey, pokey part at the end. And I'm absolutely obsessed. We are getting rid of the color, this isn't color pop, the Tarte Man Eater uh, mascara. This is the type of wand it is. It's like one of those thick ones. I don't like the thick ones like that, so we aren't keeping this one. Not just end up not being the biggest fan of it. And then we're gonna get rid of the Bag Roll Bang by Benefit, the little baby one. This is the little baby one, and this is the big one. We're gonna get rid of the baby one. We are keeping the Smashbox Photo Finish Lash Primer. I absolutely am obsessed with this. I used to not believe in lash primers. I used to when I first did makeup, and then I stopped caring about it, and now I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I would try it out. I love it. I think it actually does wonders for my mascara. We are then keeping the Roller Lash Benefit. You guys heard in my last video that I just got onto this. This is the perfect um mascara for your lower lashes absolutely obsessed get your hands on it and i'm actually kind of sad to say this but we are going to get rid of my color pop you can't even tell what this is anymore my color pop um black on black bff volumizing mascara because i just don't grab for it anymore this type of brush does not really amaze me but we are going to keep the one in brownie points because i do like wearing this when it's just a natural Day. I think I need to get a new one though because do you see how my wand is? Does anyone else's wand from ColourPop end up like kind of breaking and bending like that? Let me know. We are keeping that. So we are honestly only getting rid of four, two, three of them are minis and one's a big one. Oh, and five because we're getting rid of the ColourPop BFF one. And then I'm keeping my lash glue. And my lash glue stays in there as well. The last thing we are going to go through today before we get into the big bins of mine is my eyeliners now i just got this like little group of eyeliners and i'm completely obsessed with them but these are from ColourPop. this literally came with the new palette that just launched with the rainbow one 
So these are the Colourpop BFF Cream Gel Liner, and I literally have them in, this is Extreme Frosting. This is Icebreaker. This one is Joyride, the beautiful deep red. It's kind of brownie. This is Charmer, it's a deep purple. This one is Prance, absolutely love the Periwinkle. Then we have Amethyst Hour, and if you guys know me, Amethyst is my favorite crystal. And then we have Peach Fuzz. We have Good Reef, absolutely love this. Then we have Piggy Bank. This one is an Exit, which is just white. And then we have um, Cat Suit. And then the last one is Cry Baby, very beautiful. So we are keeping these ones. We are also keeping the Rare Beauty Gel Eyeliner. This is the Matte Liquid Liner in Perfect Strokes. This is what it is, absolutely love this. The best freaking eyeliner ever for liquid. It has a brush tip. I never thought I'd get back into brush tips, but this, guys, mm, get your hands on it. It is absolutely amazing. We are not keeping both of these Tarte ones. So this one is in Steal the Show. This is a chrome paint eyeshadow. This is what it looks like. It is like a sultry, it's kind of do like a sultry eye. It's for a smoky eye. We're just not keeping it. Don't really use it. So there's no point in keeping it. We are also not keeping the clay pot in bronze. That is what this one looks like. It's just a brown. No point in keeping it if I'm being honest. We then have these three Tarte ones. These are both the Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. You guys know I used to be obsessed with these, and this was in the black, but we're not keeping this anymore. I do not like felt tips anymore, so there's no point in me keeping that. So we're not keeping this one. We're not going to keep the one that's in the brown or the burgundy. We're just There's no point in me having those ones. We're also not keeping the ColourPop Liquid Liner in numero uno. I honestly was not the biggest fan of this. It was felt tip, but it dried way too quick before you actually could get it down. So one of these is my mom, so I'm just gonna ask her which one she wants to take back. So, I need to do that. We're then gonna get rid of, we're actually not gonna get rid of because one can be used for traveling. I am going to keep my Marc Jacobs um, Black Horror Liquid liners, not liquid. These are my cream liners. Absolutely love them and obsessed. We're keeping those. Those are chef's kiss. Absolutely love. We are also keeping my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Boundless Bisque. Beautiful nude. Absolutely love it. We're keeping that. We're also keeping my Game of Thrones Winterfell Snow one by Urban Decay only because it's Game of Thrones and I absolutely love Game of Thrones. So that's where we're keeping this one. It was hard to find. That's why we're keeping this. We are also keeping all three of my uh, ColourPop liners from the Hocus Pocus collection. Um, this one is Trick or Treat and that's the uh, purple it is. And then we're keeping this green one, which is Black Flame Candle. And then we are also keeping Sista's, which is like a burnt orange. We are not keeping though this Sugar uh, Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty coil. This is in green light. Not gonna keep that because I already have a green one in the BFF one. We are also going to be keeping my Fenty Beauty Island Bling one. I wonder if she makes these anymore because I want to get a new one of it. But I absolutely love this. We're also getting rid of my Clinique Quick Liner for the Eyes Intense. I just no longer grab this anymore because I have better ones. But it looks like it's just a black eyeliner. We're not keeping the Il Maquillage Ink Liner in black. I honestly hated this. It was so. It's not like. Doesn't give much payoff at all, so I was not gonna keep it at all. We then have the black ColourPop cream liner. I'm going to keep. It wasn't bad, it just says that it's waterproof and it isn't really waterproof. And then we have these two MAC ones. These are the modern twish twish. These are the modern twist eyeliners. And then this is um this one is groundbreaker, and then this one is new marine. There's just no point in keeping those ones. But we still are keeping a huge amount because this is what it looks like. We just no longer have any of these pots or anything. And then I'm keeping all of my eyelashes, like my fake lashes. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like down here. So let's turn you around. But these are all the products that we are getting rid of. And by getting rid of, 
I am literally giving it to family and friends. I have them come over and go through it because it's like gently used. The next time we're gonna do a decluttering, we're gonna do the rest of it. So highlighters, um, foundation, my both my eyeshadow palettes, and then my big lippy drawer up here. So that is it for day nine and ten. I really hope I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in our next one. Bye, guys.